Alright guys, what is up? Matthew Seahawk here, and today, as you may notice already, there's something a bit different about this Minecraft world, because this isn't just going to be the start of a new series, or a survival series, Ooh, leg spike. this is going to be the start of Feed the Beast Monster Pack survival series. Yep, I'm going to be playing the Monster Pack version of Feed the Beast. It is currently only in the public beta stage, so actually let's not take that. Um whoa. That's weird. So there may be some mods like coming and going throughout this series. So just a heads up in case you notice something different. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna make a checklist. First thing on the checklist. Whoa, find a location for our house. Don't know why I'm getting all these lag spikes. Second thing on the checklist is to build the house. And then, third thing on the checklist is actually, hold on, do you guys see any. Are there any die trees? Because we're going to do, try to be eco friendly. Oh, yeah, okay. Just a die tree. Eco friendly in our in, uh, adventures. And because I know a lot of people go straight for lava. Whoa! It's really weird. They go straight for lava. And then that's what they run their base off of. Guess I'll punch down this tree. They just do their whole base with lava powered. But I'm going to try to do completely eco friendly so no coal. Okay, this is being ridiculous right now. No coal burning. No nothing. And that's what I'm going to do. Hold on, let me check. Um. I guess we're going to put it on normal. Maybe. I don't know, because I was just testing out this mod pack, and it wasn't getting these weird lag spikes. So I guess it just must be um starting just because it's the start of a new game, I assume. Okay, so, getting IC2 rubber trees is saplings because I do much rather prefer IC2 trees, rubber trees. Whoa. Over, um, what's the other mod that puts rubber trees? Mine factory reloaded. What a convenient tree just sitting there. Okay. Okay. I'm actually going to turn down my particles because that might be doing it because I know the die trees do have individual particles for each tree. It's very frustrating. I just played and I test recorded it too. And I was getting no lag spikes whatsoever. This is frustrating me. So we're going to run around <laughs> Find a bunch of oh, which hut? That's a convenience. Get a cauldron because I'm assuming that there's some things that we can use. Some mods that take cauldrons. So, anyways, we're gonna take find nine different color dye trees because we're going to use the harvester to farm the dye trees and then with those we'll use the saplings to make biofuel and then we'll turn the biofuel into energy so but you only need nine because it's the maximum it can hold and then you get super high efficiencies for each sapling I'm going to explode Maybe nine plus a white dye tree because white dye trees instead of dropping dye, well they drop white dye, which comes from the spot, and then they also drop bone meal. And that can be super duper helpful. I'm going to explode. Okay. 
Come on. Come on. Give me a sapling, please. This is purely ridiculous right now. Okay, I got a sapling. Why does my computer have to misbehave like this? Ooh. I feel like it's only when we place... Oh, cauldron. Okay, I want that. Also, crafting table. Oh, great. That's kind of strange. Let's just <laughs> ignore that one. I don't know why that was pulled up. Like, honestly, I didn't even touch this inventory. Okay, you know what? I'll be right back. I'm just going to restart the game. Alright, guys. Um, back. Just restarted. Um, I want to grab the aluminum, aluminum, um, aluminum, um, <laughs> but I'm going to try to get sapling. If I miss anything in AMS Survivals or if there's a mod you guys want me to do, just leave a comment, please. I'm always open to suggestions. Hold on. Is this like a little cave? Okay. Good. We're going to go into the cave, but first we go collect these. That actually looked quite cool. Yeah, see, there's particles in these trees. And it produces a lot of it, so it could be laggy. But I don't seem to be getting these lag spikes anymore. Oh, also, this reactor craft. I don't really know much about it, but it doesn't really look like it's going to be that useful. So I don't think I'm going to... Ooh, that's pretty. I don't really think I'm going to be going into that much of um, going that deep into it. Because it looks like a good spot to set up our house. Not a permanent house, of course. Not. But just like a little temporary little base for mining. Because we're going to do a bit of mining. Might time lapse it, depending on how. Well, I'd time lapse it after me. Because I'm going to use Tinker's Construct for tools, basically. Which actually we probably should do. Why were those broken up? Don't know. Okay. There we go. Three templates. And then we need top of stencil table. Now we'll get that. And now let's go. Can you not? Part builder. Then what's the last one? Do you need a crafting table? Can rubber wood not be used? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Crafting station. Tool station. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, but we need a crafting table anyway, so that looks really cool. So. And we're out of wood, because I am going to go like this yeah we're out of wood uh oh uh oh well we've got this two planks but I'm gonna make a pick so and we need to go get some food and this crystals outside are making very obnoxious XP noise
kill some sheep too while we're up here. That'd be helpful. So we could just sleep through the night. Uh oh. Okay, let's get some food first. Because I don't mind fighting off a bit of zombies. Okay. We need three floating. Th the mushroom spawn on top of the vanilla plant. Algae. Can we use. Can we use algae for something? No? Okay. I guess not. Oh gosh, I hear the slimes. Which actually could be useful because slime balls are pretty hard to come by, but I can get it yet again. We're in a swamp. We will be probably needing slime balls at some point, so wouldn't hurt to get some while we're... Oh my gosh. Oh, it's my hunger. Oh my gosh, no. Ooh, copper. No, creeper, don't follow me, please. Limestone. Uh, yeah, I don't think... Can we... What can we use chalk for? I'm assuming we can just, like, draw lines on the ground. Okay. Bed. Let's sleep through the nice. Nice. Sleep through the night. Okay, there we go. First part of business would be to make use all the rest of our cobblestone to make a furnace. And we can use that furnace to smelt up some of that. Sorry if you can hear my breath in the mic. It's my fault. Have the mic a little bit too close. Appetite. Oh, I know this one's from Forestry. And it can be used in farms. I guess it's not necessarily the number one. Most important thing right now. I'm not gonna go into rotary craft just because I have no clue what to do with it and it looks not so useful. Um if I'm wrong on that and it actually is very useful, please leave a comment. If we can help out our eco friendly air quotes. Oh, and here's the sandstone quartz. Oh. Just another substitute. Pick up some of these crystals. And some copper thermal expansion. Those machines are always useful. These. I want to get the opal though. Probably the only thing from like. Only brick from Geostrata block that I'm going to actually pick up because it looks pretty. I don't know if it's based on is it based on biome? What color it is? Or location? Because when you pick it up it turns into this cobblestone. Does it change? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess it depends on location. And of course, it's a dead end. So, actually, there's one cave over there. Come back in here. So, we're 
We're actually going to make another furnace. We should probably expand. Whoa! Okay, so we're definitely close to surface, just cobblestone for right now. Actually, we'll leave this open for like a window without actually any glass. Okay, so now that we got food, we can get some to some more more important means of business. Oh, I already made a chest. Throw it on a chest. Stuff I don't really need at the moment. Got that cauldron. Actually, what can we use the cauldrons for? Smoker? Mixer? Are those both from well, different mods? Random things? Ender tank? That's a pretty useful one. A drum? Okay. Pulled jet furnace. Could get iron from it. So, that's good, because we're going to end up making a smeltery. But I don't want to... I guess I'm going to have to smelt this down just for now. Didn't want to because I wanted to get more. Oh, that's not a. Want to get more ore from it. Is there. Can we set a. Oh. Whoops. While we're at it, we could. Clean. Okay, I guess we're just gonna go with this. Okay, let's go find a different ravine. Or not a ravine, there's no ravines around here. We could go find another little cave area. Um, is this a different cave? I don't want to go start strip mining until we can get at least some sort of a, uh... Oh great, it's lime. Boop. I left just the half a tree. I'll go back and clean up this area if we decide to stick around. But... Oh, here we go. Not gonna pick up the appetite or those rotary, rotary craft ores, even though they do seem to pop up like everywhere. I'll pick up these because I like the uh, can make some of the blocks and get some bonus effects. No need for an XP grinder of sorts when you can have a crystal that just gives you XP. It's always useful. Whoa. Anthropy. I haven't been Anthropy, if I'm saying that right. I haven't played with Thawncraft since the newest update, so it's gonna be a bit of a learning. Oh, cool. Bit of a learning situation for me. Might not even go into it, except it is kinda useful to the Thaumic Thaumium ingots for uh, Tigger's construct, but I don't want to look like an idiot and bore everyone with my noob-like thaumic maneuvers. Fire infused stone. Okay, I know the old stuff. off this water. As far as being a pain in the butt. There's a bunch of useful ores like copper and iron right here. I really want to find some Sturtis ore so I can make um so 
so I can make a grinder. Whoa, it's a lot of iron. Oh, that's a nice vein. Okay, so I guess there's useful stuff over here, too. Good thing we're finding a lot of copper, because I'm usually running out of copper. All the time. Anything useful? I guess the cave continues. So, after we build our house and move in... Oh yes, Sirtis. Give me a dust. Good. Okay, got one dust, we need three. The other dust? Shoot. guess it doesn't want to give it to us. So anyways, once we get settled in with a house and everything, now I'm thinking about it, I'm hoping this recording comes out fine and the darkness isn't affecting it too bad. Um, after we find a house and move in, we're going to try to get a quarry going so we can get some ores without actually having to, having to mine. We will still mine, but just not as often, because we'll have the quarry going. We'll mine until the quarry picks up. Then from there we'll just let it, let it do its thing. Is that opal? Because it looks really cool. Yeah, opal looks really cool. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. Order. See, all this stuff is... Oh. Okay, let me go grab some more wood. You kidding me? Of course not. Oh shoot. Well, I guess slimes can't really do much. Don't worry about these, just tops of trees. It's okay. Uh, we're just probably going to move away from here. Okay, let's make some crafting table. Let's make some planks. Or, not planks. Let's make some sticks. Oh my gosh. Nighttime again. Oops. This way I was gonna go. Nope. This way. Towards all the beautiful copper. In its oranginess. And there's a zombie down there. Congratulations, zombies. You won the award of first underground mob we've discovered. Which is quite surprising. iron. Take that, because we need a lot of iron for a quarry. What is it? 48? 10? Take some tin. Oh my god. Nope, don't explode my ores. Please no. Oh! Got a creeper head. Okay, he's... Oh my god. Oh shoot, it got an effect. Is that weakness? Oh god. Phew. That one was a close one. It's almost about to die. Why are there so many mobs now? Something's gotta be like affecting mob spawn rates or something. Just because it's sulfur. Sulfur. Guess I don't need cinnabar. Because I'm not really going to go into Thumbcraft that deep. 
just deep enough to get to take this gray crystal just deep enough just stick our toes in the water <laughs> sorry we're just gonna go deep enough to get the thomic ingots ingots however you want to pronounce it there's an orberry bush yay we got another dust is there a mine shaft on is that gold? can't be gold it's gotta be something from rotary craft of course Or. So much stuff that we can do once we get an iron pick and I didn't grab my iron. Hopefully we can find our way back. Pick reactors. Essence ore. Shoot, we need a pick because that's what you can use for magic crops. Have a kite? No. Oh my gosh, so much ore. Alright, so I'm just gonna finish mining out this cave and I'll jump to when we make it back to the house. Alright guys, I just made it back to our house and I grabbed a few more ores and stuff while we were down there. As you can see, I'm gonna actually throw some of the I got a zombie head and a bow. I'm not sure if I... Yeah, I got I think I got the zombie head on the camera. Not hundred percent sure. Um, did I get any of repeatings? Oh, I got some more pinks, some more greens. So how many of these do we need? Oh, you only need three. Ooh, cause I know the brown. The brown give you saturation. And the red give you resistance. So those could be helpful for just AFKing. Oh shoot, that's full. Okay, let's make another chest. We could make a locker. Let's put everything that we're not going to use for right now in this chest. Actually, we're going to use this. So, okay, wait, we're, did I smell some stone already? Because we're going to make a, uh, Make a grinder. I think it's called a grinder. We need three. So grinder, that's why I wanted to start as quartz. Nope. Okay. It's from the applied energistics mod, the same one as there's quartz. Oh grindstone, I'm sorry. And the recipe for that is why it sorry. I swear I didn't give myself anything. Um, it's been like that for since the beginning of the video, I think. Anyways, so recipe for this is nether quartz or dust. Straight as quartz or nether quartz to dust plus stone, wood gear, basic stuff. But when you get it, it turns the stuff into dust, which means we can double our ingot production ingot ingot however you would like to say it I'm just American so I'm gonna say how I want to say it okay, and we also need one of these wooden cranks there's always that weird helmet that shows up why why a helmet video might actually be getting quite long. So, put the crank on top like that, and then you throw all your ores in here. I oh. guess we can go with some tin instead. And then you just crank it like this, and then as you go, it pulls it in here. And just turns into the dust. Let's see if we can get the dust going. Actually, let's sleep.
Alrighty. Sleep. Oh, okay, so we already got some dust. Alright guys, so I'm just going to grind this out and call it an episode here. So if you liked it, stay tuned because I will be uploading another video soon. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.